This Air Jordan 12 used to be a grail. I'm talking about thousands of dollars and now nobody even wants them. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a look at the Field Purple Air Jordan 12s. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. We'll be breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials of this shoe, and we'll definitely be talking about why nobody cares about these anymore. But you know, on this channel, we always got to talk about the history first. So as you all know, the Air Jordan 12 originally came out in the late 90s, and we have saw great colorways and iterations over the years ever since then. But when it comes to this colorway in particular, this was actually a Gary Payton Air Jordan 12 PE when he played for the Lakers. There are some slight differences when it comes to his PE version in this shoe right here obviously you can tell the difference with the gp on the back and the slight differences in the color but essentially this is a gppe coming to life as a release we have never seen this colorway actually released to the public so it's very interesting to see how a great pe like that or even the kevin martin sacramento pe which was suede but very very similar as well both of those shoes have been coveted grills for many of years now and for a pe collector like me every time i see a sneaker like this come about i always got to add it to my collection so let's go ahead and take it to the studio so I can show you guys some comparisons and details of the shoe. All right, so as you can see right here, you got your classic nostalgic vibes with the Jordan 12 box. We've seen this on previous retros, nothing too different. This isn't a collaboration or anything, so I can understand why they went, you know, clear cut, straightforward with it. Now looking at the tag, it says Air Jordan 12 Retro, black field purple, size 13 just for me and flipping over the box right here sometimes we see the black paper sometimes we see the tan paper and then we got the shoe oh we got the shoe so like typical fashion we start with the bottom of the sneaker and work our way up go through all the styles cuts and materials and different details so let's go ahead and get into it looking at the outsole right here you got your classic air jordan 12 bottom you got your carbon fiber plank in the center with the two-tone you got the yellow with the black you got a small yellow hit right here on the front end around the toe and then on the pod right here with the hair and bone traction you got all black right there and a black jump man to match with that wrapping around the front where you got the little ball right here showing on the toe now going to the midsole you got your purple vibes wrapping up with the rubber with the black midsole right here around the heel and then your purple jump man tag on the side of the foot and the purple mud guard right here in your textured leather these come equipped with a standard pair of black rope laces you have a black tumbled leather tongue also matching with the upper all throughout with your black stitch then you got your two three stitched in purple two spelled out three with the number and then your purple jump man right here on the center of the tongue another hit that looks really dope to me on this shoe is going to be the gold lace loops now again these aren't the metal ones they are plastic and it's kind of got that kind of matte gold finish to it but at the same time it still looks pretty good if you ask me now going to the back end of the shoe around the heel you got your classic 23 branding right here in black and then if you turn the shoe sideways it says jordan quality inspired by the greatest player ever and then you got your jump man right here and the gold as well with the purple stitch now looking at the sock liner and the insole all black with a purple jump man no nike air on there because this is not an og colorway per se kind of more of that pe vibe like we talked about in the past speaking of that let's compare them to the gary payton pe so i can show you guys the difference between materials in particular because man were the 12s so nice back in the day. So when you put these side by side with the GPPE, what year was this, bro? This was like 2005 or something like that. I don't even remember. What was this 2003? There we go, it was a long time ago. So when you put it back to this type of vibe, the leather is so thick, it's so soft, it's tumbled nicely. They just, it, the shoe is heavier, like because the, the materials are so thick and nice, they just did such a good job on the shoe. And not only because of the PE, but because of this is how they made 12s back in the day. They used to be so comfortable on foot. I remember they used to have the Flint gray 12s and the French blue 12s and the flu games and the taxis and the obsidians and all the good stuff dropping back then. It was a good time. But I say that to say, this is how things have changed over the years when it comes to the materials on the shoe. Now, like I said, because this is like the PE, for me, I'm still happy with the shoe. I think if they would have threw the GP on it, we would have been just, oh, we would have been going crazy. It would have been some crazy drop. They would have done an exclusive release, everything else. I'm fine with this. They did this same thing with Mike Bibby. They had the Bibby 12s, the Team Dime 12s. You remember that? The red with the white. And then next thing you know, it was like Jim Red 12s or whatever they call them, I don't remember. It was the same shoe, it just didn't have the logo on it, and obviously the quality wasn't as nice. But we've seen this done in the past on previous PEs, turned into GRs. People didn't even realize it because they didn't know. Next thing you know, it's a shoe that's sitting on shelves 
that if not would have been a, you know if it wasn't a pe it would have been going crazy so it's very interesting to see stuff like this so for me instant cop i was not mad these sat on shelves and i was also very happy i was able to get these for my mom with ease no problems because she want them you know i always got to get my mom the purple shoes shout out to my mom so it's you know it's, for me I, I was a happy camper to say the least now i'm interested to see what did everybody else think about this shoe so i posted a poll on my instagram story to say hey what do you guys think is this shoe fire or trash and i always do that and if you haven't already make sure you follow me on ig so you can participate in the polls and see the results here on the channel ask them the question this is what they said 52 percent of the people chose fire and 48 percent of the people chose trash to me that's crazy but at the same time i get it jordan 12s ain't popping this is uh more not a uh, would you call it a unique colorway it's, it's not your traditional colorway right it's not a blue or red or black and white because that's literally what everybody just does all the time so i get that it's harder to match with purple you may not like a sports team that vibes with it if you're a ravens fan if you're a vikings fan if you're a this the that you know what i'm saying you can make it make sense for the team that you like i get that too but for me i think these things are dope i tell people all the time black color blocking any color on the rainbow right here white right here any color on the rainbow right here you guys have seen photos from me in the past the different pe's that i have in my collection with the jordan 12s and the different stuff like that how you can create the whole rainbow i think it's dope i like it i think there's certain models and certain sneakers that have simple color blocking like this with the 13s you name it even with the jordan 4s we've seen that before where they just switch the color blocking military blacks military blues military this pine green fours like they look similar when it comes to stuff like that so for me I think it's dope. I think uh, they can do this with any color and it'll hit. Like you said, the black and orange is coming out. I perfectly, I don't really like the black and orange. Or did those already come out? I don't know. I don't like black and orange, so I don't know if they came out or not. But you kind of get where I'm going with that when it comes to the conversation. So Jordan 12s, what happens with the shoe? They come out, people sleep on it. Years later, the shoe's $350. So is this one of those shoes that that's going to happen to? Retail is like 180 bucks, 200 bucks, I don't remember. But is this shoe going to be $150 more than what it was when it came out? Or because right now they're still sitting on shelves. I'm sure a lot of you guys can say, hey, the shoe's still sitting on shelves at my local Foot Locker. I get that as well. But how long is that going to happen? Eventually they are going to sell out. Eventually they will be gone, you know. It takes, you know, three months, six months, whatever it takes. And then two years from now, three years from now, 250 275, 350, da, da da da. Like we see it happen all the time. When it comes to Jordan 12s like this, to me, Instant Cop must have, not only for those reasons, but at the same time, I know if I can get it now for the good price and everybody's sleeping on it, and I, and I know I'm gonna want it later, I'd rather really just get it now because I don't wanna have to pay the premium later because that's just typically what happens when it comes to Jordan. So that's my two cents. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was, again, a really dope release, one that a lot of people slept on. And I think a really easy cop, especially for people that's getting into the shoe game. If you're interested in more stuff like this, hit the link down below in the description. I have plenty of tutorials that'll teach you guys all about the shoe game, the ins and outs, and how to build six-figure sneaker heads. I've done it plenty of times with helping other people, and I have a full program that teaches you everything that you need to know. Got another review to do. I just picked these up. I'm so excited. We gotta shoot this review next. All right. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Listen, my DNA, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. Wanna I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's